hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator. And this script I have here is called Delete Folders. We're going to show you how simple it is to, to go ahead and delete uh, a given folder based on a name. And so it it's loops over the folders and subfolders from it. It's recursive. So let's go ahead and demonstrate it here. I'm going to launch it. You give it a destination. Now here, right now, um, I have it looking for studio backup. So this is, by the way, if you use HK Studio, it will automatically, you can enable auto backups and it creates a lot of backup files, which is great. But over time, you know, you're finally done with stuff. You don't want them. So let me just, uh, I'm going to pick a location. And let's see here. Let's go to um, the automated. That should be fine. I might have some here somewhere. And it's going to go across, and it, it deleted one, and that was it. So it looked at all the folders there, looked for any folder named HK Studio Backup, and then deleted it. So, hey, that's great, but a lot of you aren't using Studio. Why else would you use it? So here is where you would just put in a different variable name. And if we look at my temp folder, here I have a folder called Test. And then under this new folder, I have another one called Test. So here's just a working example, right? We're going to... Uh, we're going to look for folders called test, and we're going to delete them. So I'm going to relaunch the script. So this time we're looking for test, right? So I'm going to navigate to my C colon slash temp, because that's where these are all located under. So see, you see one here, and then we know there's one under there. If I was to expand it, great, but still, I'm going to select this one, hit OK. Now it just says two are deleted. What I also didn't mention is if you pull up notepad or something to paste, it will tell you, hey, these are the, the folders that were deleted. And then if there were any that it couldn't delete, it puts them here. So it's a really simple script. Let's go ahead. And, now, this is where you'd be done if you don't really care about the, how to program it. Um, but let's walk through a little bit here. So this is where we're just creating a variable. And this is where using the built-in thing, file select folder and auto hotkey, which is really cool because it just says, okay, well, where do you want to go? We're using the default directory of where the script is. That's why it kept starting where it did. We don't have to put that there, uh, but this just has it start there. And then we store that in a variable. Uh, and then this, just a simple, this next one, hey, if, if for some reason you didn't select something, just return, don't keep going, right? Uh, and then this, these lines here, from here down to here, are a progress bar. Um, it's just a marquee, right? It's not really tracking it. It just um, it sets up the framework, and then we use a set timer because what we realized, we didn't have it actually looking at it, but it was weird because depending on the files and folders, it would speed up and slow down. It was just kind of annoying. So we we switched it to using a set timer, and that's what we're updating here. Every um, 105, let's make it odd. There's no reason to be 105. That's a weird number. Um, every, a tenth, every tenth of a second, it goes back and updates it. So it jumps down into here um right here and just updates the the progress right just a bit so it, that's just going on and because it's using a set timer it doesn't get interfered with with the other stuff right so uh, that keeps going along and then we set the count to zero um, and then this is where we use the where we're starting from and the d and the r the d i believe is directories and the r is recursive and so we're getting all files and this is going to go through and get all the folders i should have said and we're going to, if the folder, you know, if the loop file name does not equal what we're looking for, that's the name that we're looking for, then just continue. Don't do anything with it. However, if it does, so it, it'll never get past it. Once it gets past this, we're going to move the file that we're looking for, that folder, into the recycle bin. Um, and then this is where we're just appending to it and we're incrementing the count. So I should increment counter, right? Um, and then if if there's a catch, so it's going to try this. If that doesn't work, this is where we're going to have the catch and have it update that. Um, and then once this whole looping is done, everything from here to here, we shove it all into the clipboard, which are some words around it, um, destroy the outer one, give us the total count, and then exit the app after the message box gets killed. So that's basically it. Um, it's a very powerful script, so simple, right? 45 lines, and it didn't have to be this long, but we just added some that uh, the the progress bar adds a fair amount. If we get rid of that, we would probably get it down to about 20 lines, I think 25 maybe. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool script. So you can get it at the URL that I'll put up on the screen here. And if you like this or learned something, please like the video, it really helps me out. We're the largest auto hotkey channel. And I think the best, we release videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays typically. 
And yeah, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. We're constantly releasing different tools and teaching people how to use AutoHotKey. We have a lot of courses, I think seven courses on AutoHotKey as well. So if you go to the automator.com slash learn, you can see some of our courses and thank you. Have a great day. Cheers.